come on, stream laughs. You well, maybe you'll get to hear the viewers in a minute when stream. Ah, oh, there we go. Yay, you can hear the players now. Yay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you? It's so nice to see so many folks chilling in here. So, right off the bat, we got nine folks waiting and are starting soon. Thank you all, that's so sweet. Love having you here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my deepest apologies for how late that this is starting. It's been tech issues, it's been all sorts of things, but it should be a really fun, in the damn fun way where, you know, I think intense story and uh, things like that really, you know, drawing out the best in our characters is fun. Um, and shenaniganry. Yeah, yes, always. Yeah. <laughs> neat, neat, neat. All right. Ooh, let's get underway. I was just kind of giving a quick recap for our players, but we find ourselves on <laughs> the ship where the players believe the uh, device that they believe is getting the information, the, what they were sent here to figure out, uh, I believe to be on the ship. They saw the captain, they saw two crewmates, the last of the two dock workers carrying crates down below decks, and they quickly snuck on board the ship um, to follow them down. There's, it's a small ship, normally crew about 8 eight to 12 max. Uh, it did carry about 36 people on the way over. It was very cramped. Um, yep, there's two other ships uh, about similar size, uh, different design in the port. And... The ship has something that's that's pretty important on it, uh, whether it's what they're looking for or not. So, um, heading on out, Randy got a message from the pirates asking for details and an update, and he told them, uh, we're on a ship, we're taking what we think is a device, and come help us, <laughs> effectively. Um, and that's where we're going to pick up. So, um, for players let me see i'm gonna i'm sure these name tags are terrible i'm gonna give you all a minute to kind of figure out what you want to do you've you've made up the gangplank um have anyone to like pull up the gangplank untie the ship do you want to go down low decks and deal with the the people and assess what would you like to do I feel like Liazana would kind of go into uh, captain mode and try to start directing people and like what all needs to happen. Uh, like, you know, we need to do this, like this, that, and the other, you know, untie it, pull the game plank, make sure everything's on the ship. Um, we're let's go to nav, like, you know, kind of get everybody set so we can hurry up and get out of here. Um, and uh, she'll kind of turn around to Grundy and she'll say, um, Grundy, what are you good at? Like, are, like as far as, have you flown a ship before or been on a ship before? I have not. Um, uh, well, besides the one that took us here. Right. Uh, but you haven't like manned a ship before. No. I am good with my hands, though. Um, Gangplank? Three seconds. Yeah, please. go ahead. And she's just like trying to figure out like right and left where everything needs to go. And she's going to say, we've got to hurry up because those people are going to come up any second now. Like, what's the plan? You do hear some footfalls walking through the hallway. Crack, crack. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what if we tied the door down? We got, we got rope. Yeah, Ashmar will, will put her uh, door plan into action. So Pretty much. there is um, a handle on this door. It's just a fixed handle. It doesn't jostle or anything. It's just to move the door. The door um, pushes in. It's open inward towards the stairs. It kind of hovers over the stairs currently. So you could try and tie something through that if you wanted. Yep. Yeah. But I'm not very strong because that was my dump's dad. <laughs> and, uh, nice. uh, for what it's worth uh, and I think those should remember I do have a rope of climbing in my backpack that you can command oh if you, if you oh, need that's it that's better oh, yeah use your fancy rope <laughs> <a better> <laughs> uh, 
probably have a better chance of it working than me trying to tie a knot. Um, let's see. Oh wait, sorry. I'm I'm reading the description. Real wait, quick. did you bring it with you? Yeah, we don't. Oh have crap! Our no, things. I don't think I would oh, have our things. Yeah. No, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was uh, like, that sounds yeah. like magic. And wait a minute, I don't think we've got <laughs> any magic yeah. items. Yeah. Well, uh, let me ask too, uh, what would you, so you can tie it through this doorknob. What do you want to tie the other end off to? Like the rail of the ship? Or, or what are you looking to um, tie it off on? Rail of the ship is what I was thinking. Okay. And then are there any barrels? Can I put like a barrel in front of it? Or something? You know, a barrel, just, just, yeah. Just push the boxes and stuff, then mm -hmm. maybe they'll trip over it if they come out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, or we could lean the barrels against the door in such a way that they fall down. Once yeah, the door yeah. Okay. We'll Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's right. brilliant. I love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ashford, go ahead and make an athletics check as you, as you do your best to, to hide this knot with all your strength and lock it down. Am I allowed to help or? Absolutely. Yep. You can either make separate checks or you can give Ashavar advantage. Uh, what would you prefer? I have a plus seven for athletics. Let's oh. make. You can give her um, uh, advantage if you want Ashavar too. Yeah, I'll give I'll give you advantage because I have okay. plus uh, zero. Nice, nice. Right, Twenty one. Okay. Um, you're not familiar. Thank you. With... I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, you're not familiar with too many of the actual, you know, nautical knots. Um, you just like tie a knot, tighten it, tie another, tighten. There's like 15 knots tightened one after another, like super tight on this. Uh, probably gonna be moderately effective. <laughs> go big or go home, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the the rope is just knots from both sides meeting in the middle, and then the barrels, of course, and. We'll probably start doing that. There's as like well. a barrel that's a width of the door. It's like half full of um, a sloshing liquid with some uh, apples mm. in it under some Ooh. cold water. Okay, okay, perfect. <clears throat> Easily wheeled oh. it over for Zia. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you like to do next? Is maybe another 20, 30 seconds before they get to that door. I mean, the, the two of us are pretty tied up, but I'm assuming <laughs> everybody else is like. Pulling up the gangplank, like okay. taking off. I I would probably be helping uh, Grundy with getting the ship ready to go. Nice. Like pulling pulling up the gangplank, getting things on ties, stuff like that. Like anything we need to do. Um, <laughs> Relith was told to go to navigation by Liasana, so she is going to find navigation. So, okay, as stealthy as possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, so a navigation, of course, is a top perch the top, you know, on the on the upper deck here. So yep. um, you know, you've got kind of a lumbering form goes over, but go make a stealth check yep. and see how stealthy. Sure. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I let me double check. And I'll, I'll sure check with Ashford and send us there in a minute here and see okay. what he's up to. Oh wait, I have lucky. <laughs> Now oh no, wait, I haven't slept. had any sleep. Yeah. Okay. That's a six. Have you used any spells? On... Huh? Oh. No. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Sinister, what are you up to as as Realist is up the mm -hmm. stairs? Yeah. Well, you're like running. I don't know what you used <laughs> of mine and how I haven't had any rest, have I? No rest. Did I, I didn't use any of your skills or magic. Uh, you were just very persuasive to me. All right. Which is magical in its own it self. Is. But yeah. It is. It really um, is. I will say, oh my goodness. Uh, so what time of day is it? Is it night? Daytime? What? Let's see. I believe that this was, um, oh my gosh, was it early this morning? It was the afternoon, I thought. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Right. It was because uh, they were going to call you back out for something. So it's mm -hmm. evening, dusk. It, it's not dusk yet, but it's maybe four thirty or so, five. All right. So I have disadvantage on perception. All right. Um, <laughs> I think. Oh, um, I'm going to send a quick message because um, I I 
I can send messages and just whisper and point to Leah's on us. Uh, what do you want me to do? I'm kind of useless, like for sight, but like oh. if somebody comes up here, I can totally stab them or like talk to them or, you know, I'm not exactly sure what you want me to do. I'm kind of like, Whoa. Um, she's gonna respond honestly, like anything. I can do anything. Except- anything that you see someone needs help with, like if 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 Zia needs help with the door, with the the, the people that are still on the ship, do that. If Relis needs help steering, do that. Whatever. I'm just trying to make sure that we can get out of here. So you just see him go uh, uh, like all the direction and just kind of like and just like run around like. <laughs> What do you need? I can't lift anything. I'm gonna break my nails and mess up my hair, but I can help you. Mm. Nice. I can give you words of encouragement. I can oh, just like, yeah. woo, you know, inspire you for to be your best self, whatever you need. If Sid stares over by us as we're like furiously tying 15 knots, I'd be like, I, I don't know. It looks like Realist might be having uh, some trouble getting the ship, ship started. Like maybe navigation would be like, <laughs> all right all right um uh, i don't know all right how about this i'm just gonna run around and just maybe if someone's on the ship i might do like a little uh, uh, or like hey 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 i'm just me and then uh, stab them and then maybe whatever i wish i had the, the cloak of many fashions i could make the weighted blanket again for sister <laughs> i'm gonna go uh, i'm gonna go sneaking i'm gonna go sneaking i got some tricks all right here we go so um okay I'm just gonna find someone, uh-huh. and um, I don't know mm-hmm. if uh, they seem like they're a problem. Maybe like sneak up on them, but if they're like too big or whatever, like try to convince them that mm-hmm. I'm part of the crew or whatever. Okay. Either way, it's gonna be sneaky. Make a, so. an investigation check first with Sinister. You see, there's one door that seems to go down and up. And it's currently, that's what Zia's tying off with a rope and stuff. So that seems to be relatively secured. You don't see anyone on the upper deck. But but make it patient. Uh, 19. You do notice that there is a um, relatively large double door hatch in the deck. Uh, up past the front, well, there's just um, the one mast, up in front of the mast. Um, no, it, you imagine it lowers down into a cargo area for larger cargo. You don't know if they have means to come up from there or not, but it's another thing to keep an eye on at least. Okay, I would like to just like sneak get into the darkest, deepest crevice and just wait in case they come up so I can okay. just kind of like totally just like sneak them. Nice, make a self check at disadvantage because of. No sleep and yeah, <laughs> there is some shade here. It's pretty harsh light. Oh, okay, a natural two and a natural five. Okay, with the uh, with the two, uh, it's eleven. Okay, for stealth. I mean, as good as you can, and at this time of day with you know, no sleep for almost a week. Yeah, um, this is totally my evening. I am lacking beauty rest. <laughs> nice. All right, um, Ashavar, what would you like to be doing? Um, well, once I realize that Zia has a better chance, uh, like I run the rope through uh, the handle and like start tying it off. And then basically Zia comes up and I'm like, you do this because I am a weakling. Um, I am going to cast a uh, disguise self on myself. And make myself look like the captain. And if he comes up on deck, do some like, you know, sp- two Spider-Men pointing at each other thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, then I'll start marching around like I'm big and important. Amazing. <laughs> okay. I love it. Well, that actually factors into things. Okay. So the captain's walking aboard ship as these cadets are settling about. Uh, <laughs> or seemingly the captain. Relith, you get up and can you make, um, ooh, I guess uh, an investigation check as you're looking, like going through the controls and stuff? They're very different, like very different. Uh, that's a 13. Okay. You do, despite it being different, you're able to see some of the basics. 
You're not going to be as competent as you are on your ship. It's, your ship's extremely advanced, or being the original ancient technology. This ship does not have the bells and whistles that the temple has, um, and uh, it's very rudimentary. Built to tow and, and cargo and maybe other ships. You can see the basics of how to operate it, but you don't really see a way to, to make it go particularly fast or to take any... It's small, so it gets moderately maneuverable, but you, you're going to have a probably disadvantage at maneuvering it. Um, but you feel like you can g get you from point A to point B. If feeling a little... Okay. Um... Not really wanting to run back and waste time to tell the others this information. Rita's just going to, yep, just going to go at it. Just going to uh, mm -hmm, try to maneuver this thing away from port. Okay. Um, you start, you know pulling levers <laughs> this doesn't even really have it's got like two simple levers You're like okay i think this is the reverse forward and the other is maybe the throttle yeah yeah it's very simple <laughs> um and you hear furious <laughs> the door it's sort of just down below where where you the area where you're perched um all of you anyone near that door is hearing like a, a really vigorous jostling of the door. Um, <clears throat> I need to get dice out. You hear what sounds like a kick, a slam. But let's see how successful they are, if at all, because it's rope. And uh, of course, it's only as strong as that, that final knot there. Whoa, it rolled right out of the, the dice tray. <laughs> just you know. is that good or bad <laughs> well it was a really high number but i re-rolled it because it went out so <laughs> and it's a slightly lower number this time um but let me just check your thing okay they're kicking for the next like 12 18 seconds boom, boom, and you see it popping out and, and part of the the handle itself is starting to some of the, the nails just nailed in as a raggedy ass ship are sort of popping out of the plate of that um, door in place. Of course, they're kicking it against the hinges too and the jam, so it's a little more difficult. But you know, it looks like it's not it's not going to halt. Just uh, you've got a little bit of time now. Um, you feel as you're watching this, you all feel the ship mm, lurch uh, as the arcane engines. Take it away from the dock slowly, slowly rubs against the deck a little bit. Uh, but let's make a quick um, navigation check. I'm going to say at disadvantage, um, you'll add your, it's basically, you, gosh, what do we want to do for this? Navigation. I'm going to say. Survival? We'll do survival for now uh, until I can I can find something better. Yeah. Okay. Well, I rolled twelve for both, so that makes oh. it a total. And I'm pretty good with survival, so that makes it a total of nineteen. It's a lifts off from the dock. Oops. <laughs> but no damage done. Just a little scrape. Feels that perch in your stomach. And and as the ship begins to, you got to slowly descend uh, uh, ascend from the dock. You start seeing, you hear a loud whistle on the base. See a couple people come out from the buildings nearby. The MPs looking over, like by the outhouses, look up at the ship. Um, and more people start to pile out, racing over towards the dock. What do you do with the ship, Brilis? You're just backing up, like, and rising up. Lewis is, you know, very slowly, like 10 miles an hour. Watch well, first it. she swallows some bile that she threw oh, up in her mouth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then, um, so she's backing up. I mean, I guess. Does she have to back up or? To like... Just for this part. It's only about half a minute of backing up. Then you can spin the ship around and, and put it yeah. at whatever speed it's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she would do. We're, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this. Um, we're going to be moose. I wait, but first, <laughs> wait, mm-hmm. is, is it possible? Mm-hmm. DM, is it possible while I'm trying to navigate and back this thing up to also try to do sky right? To put, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if you, if you really want to, you certainly can Uh please roll, um, let's see, what would a concentration check, that'd be a constitution check, a constitution, oh wait, our our constitution, constitution saving? Concentration is constitution. Yeah, it's, but it's a saving throw, right? It's not just a check. I don't know why my brain doesn't want to, um, yeah, okay, saving throw, just in case you have any bonus to that, it's a constitution saving throw, uh, at disadvantage, please, because you're trying to cast a spell while navigating a ship you don't know much about. Oh, so if it is disadvantage, that is a 17. Okay. Um, pick one of these two options for you, ship okay. or sky ride. And it, not to do, just, you don't know why, just let me know. Uh, okay. well, definitely the ship is probably the most, is, yeah, the ship is the most important, and she knows that, so she would choose the ship. Okay, well, this is just something random for me. Sure. So, ship, okay. <laughs> um, you managed to sky ride perfectly. Sorry. With an exclamation point, maybe uh, a no, heart. No, with maybe. a heart, yes. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect mm-hmm. little heart at the bottom. Yeah. Um, and it's beautiful. Uh, in the process, the ship, you manage to continue to turn around, but it, it starts to tip sideways. And, and while that keeps everyone on it with the artificial gravity and such, it does have a bit of a slant and an adjustment phase. Some of them have no lag in their, their artificial gravity. This one okay. does. The barrel slides off from the door. Okay. And everyone takes like a step and a half to the side before you reattach it. And you're like, oh, whoop, oh, oh, you get the okay. other hand back on the wheel. Turn okay. around and you put it into full throttle. Yes. That's enough time. The barrel sliding out of the way and everything else for to get the handle, the plate with the handle cling, 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 across the deck. The doors pull back to port loaders duck under the rope and run out onto the ship. Um, they don't seem to have their weapons on. They don't really seem to have, you don't see any weapons on them. Um, they're just a bit in shock and ready to fight. They've got their hands up and, 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 and they're, they're looking around at everyone. Like what is going on? Where's Sinister and all this? Can I, um, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. I'm, I'm gonna see quickly, and then I'll, I'll get to Sinister, and then and Zia. Um, they do pause for a moment and look at Ashabar. Captain. Um. Oh, uh, sorry. And then I'll quickly. Sorry. So Sinister, you are like uh, maybe twenty feet away, uh, uh, behind the mast. So like. Ashavar, you could look to your right. Ashavar, looking like the captain, is standing there, and you're just kind of in a little bit of shadow there. And and Zia, did you want to do something? No, no, it's fine. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna if if this goes south, mm-hmm. my initial reaction is to find the weakest one and pounce on him. You know, that's my reaction. If it goes south, if it looks like Ashavar is in any danger or something, mm-hmm. you know, any anything off, that's when. But I'm going to stay hidden. 
until then. Okay. Um, so you're lo- so you're staying hidden. You're looking up at Ashvar as the captain. Ashvar, there, one of them. Captain, what? What's going on? Why did you? What is happening? In captain voice, I would I would reply. <laughs> Oh, uh, unfortunate that uh, we didn't get you loaded off the ship in time. This is a this is a training exercise for the rest of the camp to see if they can chase down the ship that's being stolen. I hate it when you all do this. Ugh. Well, they look at one another. This is the first time we've been on a runaway ship. In the rope, this is... Oh. Cadets around at everyone on the thing. Uh, make um, a deception check, Ashavar. You'll have to do it at disadvantage because of all the sleep deprivation. Uh, but they're... Oh no, OBS. Are you messing up on me? OBS. here. <laughs> All right, almost reconnected. Order to pick up. Oh, internet, won't you reconnect? Do, 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 do. We're reconnecting. or something like a lump of coal or something like that. It's not He's like... Back. Yay! Yay. Yay. Alright, let's see. That <laughs> <laughs> enthusiasm, y'all. Yay. Hooray! Our OBS is trying to reconnect on its own. Oh, no. I guess we'll see my internet. When it's so that's one of the things of this week. Oh, it's just been that's right. Off on the cable company side. Uh, oh man! Uh, Maybe they're doing uh, like updates or something. Hopefully, I've heard um... a lot of internet companies have been having issues lately. Mm. Yeah, you have, like, too. is your plan like um, pretty high in terms of like data allowance? In terms oh, I get the down? top tier. I get like six hundred okay. megs down and thirty up or something like that. Yeah. Oh my god! I forgot how good. bad. It's not even top tier anymore. I, I forgot how bad internet is because, like, in New York, it's literally like a gig up and down. It's like the minimum you can get here yeah wow. actually that's kind of what i miss about jersey we had verizon fios which is like legit the fastest service you can get oh. i have at and fiber here i'm doing like 900 up and down oh, wow but yeah okay. i mean like wait where are you dan like state wise um virginia about an hour west of oh mm-hmm. yeah oh. okay that is weird that's really weird yeah yeah, I'm a little, in a little baby city, like you're probably not too far from my other sister then, because I think she's two hours away from DC in Virginia. Oh, yeah, I think Tonka ah. said that too. Yeah, yeah, you're not too far from. Uh, she's not in. Uh, what is it, Charlottesville? Okay. 
Is that where is that where the university is? There, there's one out there. Because mm -hmm. that's where she works. That's not where they live, though. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. I think we're back. Um, viewers, yeah, can you see yes. us? Yeah, we're streaming. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're, we're back. streaming. We are streaming. Oh, I did not realize they were streaming that whole time. <laughs> Yay! <It's>, yeah. <laughs> Manbird streams blasting off again. Yeah, we did real. it. All right, let's hope this holds. But if not, I guess it happens again, viewers. We'll be back in like three to five minutes, whatever that's yeah. like. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I thank you for the welcome back. <laughs> so many issues. Okay. Um, so Ashbar, please, if you if you don't mind making a deception check with disadvantage because no sleep. I I knew the internet cut out because I said that, and you and, and you look paused like like you were thinking, and and I was like, should I say it again? Like, oh, everyone's paused. Everyone's <laughs> paused. Disadvantage. <laughs> Oh, Zin said it's because you allowed Brie to sky right. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so that's a total of 12. Let's see how they feel now. Oh, that one's on board. Okay. One of them, the one that's talking is like, and turns to walk back down the stairs. The other one just holds um, her hand out and just puts it on his chest like <laughs> shaking their head like no 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 <laughs> um and uh leans over and says something to their ear uh into their ear and they turn back um captain there we have to follow the protocol if you initiate we can confirm <laughs> Collapses. <sighs> they put their fists back up, um, <laughs> looking for a brawl because they they don't go for any weapons. I don't see any happy weapons. Um, but they had announced so sinister. You'll he hearing this. You'll see them begin to walk over towards the person that they feel isn't the captain. Uh, so you have an opportunity as they approach to try and tackle one of them. Uh, they both look. You know, about the same physique um, as uh, modern. Which one building. looks a little weaker? Like one I feel confident I could take. Mm. You might have feel. I mean, they're both pretty burly because they're dock workers, but the guy looks a little like. Um, if you're if you're at all, you know, you've probably seen a lot of fighters. Maybe you spectate mm -hmm. a lot back in in your. <laughs> um, um, the uh, the person. Um, the feminine one has like a really good stance, you know, hands oh. up, like right up here. Uh, and the other guy is just like, you know, doing some silly Popeye kind of, I'm ready for this, you know, kind of uh, arm roll thing. So you think you can, the guy might be a better and easier target for you. All right. Um, let's, let's, <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, I'm trying to think what I could do. Oh yeah, I don't have any weapons on me doing it, so it'd have mm. to be unarmed. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You can also try and grapple if you want. This will be like a, a little surprise round of sorts uh, as things start sideways. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna try and go for it. Okay. All right. So what do I roll for a grapple? Yeah. Uh, it'll be athletics for you, an athletics check. Oh. Well, this is going to be great. <laughs> uh, is there any way I can psych myself up and give myself inspiration? Oh, no. Sorry. In fact, I, I guess it has to be a disadvantage because it's an ability oh, check, fun. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, an 18 is the number to beat. Oh. I don't always share, but since it's a surprise thing, and we'll start building right. some of the... <laughs> it says I get a plus two for unarm, I guess. Okay. Well, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. 
I got a, I got a 19 and a 16. So plus two. Yeah. Is that's an 18. Uh, that's for the unarmed strike. Yeah. Uh, if you have skills with that, but this is just a grapple. Oh, well then 16. You almost <laughs> take him down. It, it, he actually stumbles back a few steps and it's because of that dumb luck of stumbling back. If he's trying to hold on to you and falls that you both kind of collapse and you, you know, you tweak your shoulder, he tweaks his, and you kind of roll apart from one another. Um, let me have everyone roll some initiative on board the I'm ship. gonna say, I'm gonna say to him, hey, I just met you and this is crazy. <laughs> oh. <That's> awesome. <laughs> Dumb question. Yeah. Do we roll initiative at disadvantage? Yeah. We do. Yep. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> Uh, mm. While everyone, I'll it's... go around and ask everyone one at a, uh, at a time if that's okay. Um, and while yeah. everyone's rolling and getting their numbers, the ship you, you're feeling that soft acceleration. This is this is the the D4 Ford Escort of skills. It's like mm. uh, as Brian says, it's got like that lever all the way. Forward. Oh yeah, and um, you're watching as uh. Gangplanks being drawn and sh and ropes are being tossed uh, up onto the ship. The other two little ships. Um, I'm going to switch some things around here um, for us. Where's this? I'm going to uh. switch to this camera. Mm. So I I bought risers and they didn't come mm. in today. Extensions. No. Oh. I'm really really bummed about that, but. <laughs> Um, let me let me see. You're all are sort of starting no, no. probably back here, back at the dock. Uh, okay. So viewers, I'm sorry, you won't be able to see this just yet. It's more, it's a little more important to me to the players get to see this. Uh, and I can't, I don't have the second of a safe j level of jank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you are, you know, up in the air, Brelis, and this is about how far the ship has has gone. Okay. Not, not quite. <laughs> sure. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, here we go. Okay. Must be. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm sorry, Zen. I the jank today is pretty bad. Once some <laughs> things happen, I'll switch over, switch it over to stream, and then just ask you know the players to kind of watch the stream. But for, but for yeah. this part right here, uh, okay. So, um, oh my gosh, I need to uh, I'm open the key for this. Uh, Liazana, what'd you get? Oh goodness, um, I got a total of twelve. Oh okay. Um, Breathe it. Twelve as well. Oh, okay. What is your dexterity score? Breathe. Um, dexterity score is ten. And so uh, Liana's got me beat. Okay. Like total? Uh, yeah, yeah, just the score. Yeah, whatever. Like fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a range here. Um, Sinister, what's here? What did you get? A nine. Okay. Uh, for what it's worth, you your tackle attempt did knock. I mean, and I you're prone too, but they're prone yeah. as well. So you know that'll cut. Down Let's down hug. Down. Let's <laughs> hug it out, brother. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Zia, what'd you get? I got a seven. Oh, well, this is making it really easy to write down because it's just been descending so far. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, so maybe not the best for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take some extra I'm glee, excited. Dan. <laughs> Please try to hide your excitement, Dan. <laughs> uh, Grundy? <laughs> Grundy's going to hide in the porta potty with the three. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, Grundy. <laughs> and Ashabar? Ashavar needs to remember when she's muted. Oh. <laughs> uh, but uh, I got also a 12. I have a 14 dexterity, so I think I'd be between oh. Freelift and Liazana. That's a cozy place to be. Okay. Mm. And then, mm. oh, gosh, that puts both of them. Um, okay. Um, uh, 
important. Doc one. <laughs> Doc two. And then we'll hit a... I am crying because my armor class. Jeez. <laughs> ah, no armor. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> my armor helped me. Oh, <laughs> such a noodle. <laughs> Tips as we began have backed up and spun around. They haven't accelerated yet, but they've backed up and spun around, so you know they're going to be... Uh... <laughs> Great. <laughs> mm. Danger. Um, okay, so Doc Worker 1's going to go first, and it's just hand-to-hand. -hand. So uh, they're going to go up um, Doc 1's one, and so Ashabarb, they're going to throw fists. Um, that is... Uh, Strength because it's hand to hand, um, which they are pretty adept in. So that's a uh, um, that's a plus 18 to hit Ashavar with a, a punch. Yeah, oh. that hits. All right, now they um, just roll that. Okay, three points, three points of of uh, bludgeoning <laughs> as they come up and they just uh, do a jab. A quick jab to your face, <laughs> um, because you're, yeah. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about. It, that's not a concentration. Spell, Wait, a, no, it just lasts for an hour. But I have a question. Yeah. Um, since I, is the captain taller than me? <laughs> oh, nice. You know what? I have been envisioning the captain probably with a good foot on you. So yeah, yeah. They go well, to throw. If they're. Cause, the spell I can make myself about one foot taller or shorter. <laughs> so if they're throwing at my face, my face is above my face. Nice. It goes right through. They're like, uh, and then then they perceive the illusion. Uh, so don't so remove that damage. Did not strike <laughs> you. <laughs> um. All right. The other person gets to their feet. Um. And they're going to, they're just, I don't know if they want to kick another person. Kick them. They're going to try and grapple you. They're going to try and grapple you, Sinister. Be uh, gone. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm prone, <laughs> so I get advantage, don't I? <laughs> um, with grappling? That's a really good question. Let's check. Well, uh, it'll be a regular roll. Because you have disadvantage normal, uh, currently because of sleep. So go ahead and roll a straight roll. You can do either athletics or acrobatics because you're on the receiving uh, end. Get wrecked. And Liazana, uh, you'll be up next. Uh, 15. Oh, okay. All right. They had a 19 and 10. Oh, fuck. Okay. And they get you, like, you know, your arms behind your back and they run their hands up and kind of lock behind your head. And uh, he's like, who are you? What are you stealing from the UAF? It's what is, you know, and they're just like marking things as they're kind of scared, uh, you know, too. Um, um, is it my turn? <laughs> uh, Leah's uh, not yet. Nope. Oh. Uh, sorry. Um, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Lisa. I got him right where you were. I got him right where I went. Oh, oh, that's oh. amazing. <laughs> I, got, uh, I got this. <laughs> he's, he's been a steer over there. It's, all, it's good. <laughs> uh, exactly. Lisa, uh, what would you like to do? Your turn. I mean, you can, you know, you've got your hands. You've got spells. Um, yeah, am I... I would assume I'm pretty close to the action. Would I theoretically be within 10 feet of them? Uh, sure. You can be if you want. Yeah. Okay. Um, I believe I can only target one of them. Um, let me see. Yeah, I can only target one of them. So I guess the one that seems more, um, word. <laughs> My brain's trying to think of impending, but that's not the right word. Brain fart more dangerous more sure yeah whatever that word is <laughs> um <laughs> whichever one seems more dangerous mm -hmm. uh she's going to uh, extend her hand out and um uh, attempt poison spray 
and they need to roll a constitution saving throw oh no that's a fail uh so on the feminine one she kind of you know steps back and um fists up and you you doesn't even see you at first because uh she's engaged with the captain and just you know saw it went through that illusion looks over just as you get like a hold your hand out what do you want that spell to look like as you cast it okay sorry i just rolled the damage um just she's kind of um just with like everything going on but she's got in her head like she needs to get these people down Mm -hmm. so that she can rush up and and go protect brela's like she's really concerned now so she just like just super furiously quick just without even thinking just just pushes her hand out at the the feminine one and, and you just see this massive like poison cloud just grow and grow and grow and just all of a sudden you just see the cloud just shoot straight at that person Oof. okay um yeah give me uh let me know what the number is well, how much damage that is a total of 20 poison damage okay <laughs> it's 2d12 nice all right they're um uh, they're looking fairly hurt just from that <laughs> uh you can see just um you know they get they throw up and they're just really holding yeah. their gut in pain uh there's a little frothiness around the mouth after you know a couple seconds it's fast acting uh, oh yeah not looking good. <laughs> okay. that's what she was going for and how much movement did they have she's got level three exhaustion oh yeah yeah you have half movement half 15 half so movement like, yeah half. so as much as she can move uh towards realist she is once she casts that because i think she can only cast that once per long rest mm-hmm. Okay, um, you can get, uh, let's see, if you're over there, you're in front of the mast, you can get to the bottom of the stairs. There's another, like, 20, 25 feet up to, about 25 feet up. And over. Okay. Okay, um, anything else for Liazana? Um. I just realized that I could have done a bunch more stuff but that's okay no she's <laughs> she's she's concentrating on realist she's she's good so okay all right um so next up is ashabar relive your own deck um ashabar as um this is happening um other two ships a slight gain so you think a little further not being weighed down with cargo. Maybe not quite double the speed. One in 75 hundredths of the speed. Um, uh, but, go ahead, uh, Ashavar, what would you like to do? Are the ships that are chasing us within 150 feet? No, are they further away? yes. No, they okay. may be 250, 300. Okay. Minor illusion and use a sorcery point to make it uh, subtle so no um, somatic or verbal components. Uh, so you don't see or say or just gesture or anything, but um, just, okay, so this is just flavor and um, my other D&D group sometimes lets me interpret the the description of a spell a little loosely so i'm going to ask this before i actually do it um if by object can i create like basically black red 
demonic looking uh, tendrils of smoke coming out of my head and shoulders. Yeah, I mean, for this, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to concentrate so that my eyes gr glow like this silvery blue, and basically I'm going to start cackling like a maniac and uh and and i can't i i can't actually chew the scenery right now enough to do it unfortunately but basically cackling like a disney villain mm -hmm. and telling the people that i have swallowed your captain's soul and now i'm here for yours <laughs> oh, nice. basically trying to scare them into shitting their pants and running somewhere down like maybe down under the ship where they won't get poisoned or their Aww. souls sucked out <laughs> by uh whatever ate their captain nice <laughs> yeah go ahead and make it a intimidation check it'll have to be a disadvantage even without all i know uh, <laughs> i wish I, I was a divine caster and could have guidance but i do not <laughs> not going to work unless I am very lucky. <laughs> Six. Okay, well, I'll roll for them just in case. That's incredible. Okay, um, so they both look not full on scared, but they, but they, you know, get a look in their eyes. It's a scary sight to say, you know, I mean, these illusions are very... I'll say that uh, the woman that, that punched and, and saw your evolution is a little less. She got the higher of the two rolls. Mm -hmm. and, and Matt, she got the six and matched yours. Um, but the other person got a five. Um, and yeah. the one that's holding me, I said, well, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I would listen to the demon. <laughs> <laughs> and that may come into play. That may affect them as, as the thing comes around. But uh, yeah, the other one's like, eh, illusions. <laughs> Just punch through an illusion. So I, <laughs> and they made the roll. Uh, yeah. Okay. The other one's got a pretty fearful look in his eyes. Um, and in the meantime, I'm keeping track of when the ships chasing us get into range for my longer range spells. Nice. You imagine by next round they might actually be. Uh, okay. Um, anything else then for Ashabar? Um, she's gonna back away from the. Uh, the two well no that's an action to disengage i don't want to take an attack of opportunity i assume mm -hmm. in melee uh so she's going to stay where she is and cackle nice yes. okay perfect yeah. uh Breleth, you are up next um sinister you're on deck uh Breleth, you are um <laughs> holding that lever all the way in Looking back and looking back and watching these other two ships, mm -hmm. uh, you see Lizana heading towards the stairs, picking up as unfolding. What would you like to do? I mean, she's going to continue to drive the ship. Um. She's just going to just spend all of her energy trying to get this ship uh, to move as fast as it can. So you're just making a beeline, not any any wasteful movements or anything? Right. Straight ahead. No. Yeah. Okay. And you get the feeling like, oh, right, the ship's way down with countless, what you imagine are, are priceless you know, treasures of the UAF <laughs> sure. being transported yeah. off of here. Very high value ship you're on right now. Um, yeah. Pretty heavy for goods. Even though it's a nice. rickety PLS. <laughs> yeah. Probably their <laughs> yeah, their guys send it an unmarked shitty <laughs> ship so it won't be attacked. Yeah. <laughs> um Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, so you hear footsteps from downstairs heading across that lower hallway near the bottom of the steps. Uh, they do not make it into sight, unfortunately. Uh, next up, then, is Sinister with Zeon. Uh, Sinister, you're, you're, you know, 
Right, you're grappled, so you can't move, but you can do your other things. All right. I told you to listen to the demon. It would have been like, you know, there's a literal demon, right? Um, so... <laughs> Since my hands are behind my back, I'm going to reach to my belt loop of my pants. Oh. And uh, I'm going to cast Levitate on my man. And uh, I have a question for you. Uh Uh-huh. I have a question for you. Now, Levitate can um, take a target that weighs up to 500 pounds and either lift them straight up in the air 20 feet or back down on the ground. And I'm assuming that it's the force of 500 pounds if I so choose, right? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as like damage, it'd be whatever damage they allow and stuff. But well, well, yeah, I mean, 500, so you can, you can do that. Well, hmm. I would like to levitate him to full 20 feet up in the air and then just drop the spell immediately so he comes crashing back down. Oh, okay, okay. Is it saying the spell like you can get any damage for that, or is it mostly like flavor? Like, whoosh, they're, they're not that I mean, it's just a it's just a spell to usually levitate myself or a creature or an object. Oh, you gotcha, know. gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that certainly breaks the grapple. As get the hell off me! Up and you <clears throat> slam him down. He's like, you know, five feet back or so from where you were. He slams back down into the the back of the ship <laughs> you you have to um try and succeed the constitution as well if um I, i'm assuming you're unwilling oh oh i'm sorry i see uh right so yeah they have to, to do that to see if they're lifted right and um my just card gloves are invisible right oh they so hardcore so that definitely yeah happens. oh okay because okay, yeah, yeah. it would have been 15 plus my gloves would have gave me an extra one so 16 so <laughs> nice Okay. Yeah, they rolled a two. Uh, oh, great. They have not enough to get. <laughs> Make that Eat guy. that, stupid! <laughs> He's got the wind knocked out of his ear. <laughs> um, any bonus action or movement for Sinister? Um, uh, oh, snap. Let me see if I can do something bonus, 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 bonus. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, uh, level Tate was in action. Okay, um, that's it for that. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Da, 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 da. I can't do anything um, else other than, you know, that's what you get for fucking with the demon. And <laughs> if that demoralizes him, then so be it. You know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> <laughs> looking around shocked. This is not what he was prepared for today. Uh, <laughs> um, Zia, you're going to be up next. Um, let me just pull this up real quick here so I can show you. Now, how does he look? Does he look hurt? Like, severely? Like, is he... No, or does he look okay? He, no, he still looks pretty pretty healthy. Just winded right now. Prone. Uh, okay. Basically. Um... On the... um here we go. So, it is another little bit here. Ooh. So, 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 once again, um, close more of the gap. Ashvar, you'll notice at this point that they are about 100. Um, and uh, it's going to be your turn, Zia. You fall here, announced as though through like a magical loudspeaker, the sort of, you know, crop. <laughs> Give yourselves up. You have stolen a UAF. Um, they, well, they wouldn't say a United Aviation Federation vehicle and United Fe- Aviation Federation goods. You cannot escape. Put your weapons down, lay down flat on the deck, and stop the ship. Allow yourself to be boarded. And you'll be given mercy. Okay. Um, Zia, is your you're up? So there was another person coming up on deck. We haven't seen them yet, but they're in the door frame. Uh, they're at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, if you were to stand in the door frame and look down, you'd probably be able to see them. But standing okay. out on the deck, you don't. 
So, uh... Is it... How far away am I from the barrel? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I mean, if you've been over there, you're, you're only, like, five feet away from the door, and the barrel is, like, five feet over to your right. It's, like, door here, barrel there. <laughs> so if I if I went to take the barrel and push it down as they're coming up... Yeah. Can I do that? Absolutely. Okay, great. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, they make a quick athletics check. It'd be a straight athletics check, but, uh... Okay. Oh, uh, because, um, I don't know, I guess it would be a disadvantage, huh, right? Because all ability checks, it, it's not difficult for you to move this barrel, so. Unless it's okay. a really bad roll, you'll be fine. I mean, I, I'm really on fire with the bad rolls already. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, also not great, but could be worse, like, uh, 11? Uh, plenty enough. Yep, you... you okay. <laughs> We lit over the top, and you look down, and it's definitely the captain. Hand on railing, taking one foot, like, first step on the bottom. step. Wait, they fell for it for any amount of time at all, literally having just spoken to him downstairs. Yeah, well, I think that they were in a different area, and he's behind them, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like it better if they, like, were just having a conversation with them, and they were like, hey, we just saw you. How did you? How yeah. did you get up here so fast? You're such a good captain. <laughs> so, best captain ever. Nice. Secret, secret um, captain elevator, elevator yeah. or dumb waiter. Yeah. Yeah, we get we get the fancy dumb waiter to get up. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yes, you wheel the the barrel over and with a slosh, you you tip this thing head over heel. Boom, 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 boom. What the and, <laughs> special delivery for your face? Nice, nice. Oh, 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 oh. nice. Uh, let's see a barrel smashing in one's face. I'm gonna say go and roll boom, busted, four, roasted. Okay. Nice. Um, oh wait, how, how do you, oh wait, okay, uh, seven. Okay, hey, let me just make a note in the captain's, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to do it in D&D Beyond, so I just googled 2D4 and apparently Google just does it for you. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> I didn't know it could interpret Google roles, has a but dice can. roller? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's good to know. Um, um, okay, and I'll do a uh, strength check to see if he can... Okay. The barrel crashes into him. Oh, it gets knocked over. Oh, I got him, like, right in, like, the the knee. He's like... Hmm. <laughs> it's like this. Please tell me he's doing the Peter Griffin. <laughs> I was thinking of... Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yep. Oh god. <laughs> so oh god. Next turn. Yeah. <laughs> so six seconds of that at least. Uh, but it doesn't seem to knock him over. But it got him pretty good. That hurt. Yeah. <laughs> um, any bonus action or movement, Zia, for you? Uh, I feel like for the one that I I do have, it probably wouldn't count because, I mean, yeah. No. I'm. Uh. I mean, I guess. Could I do cunning to just disengage? Sure, yeah, absolutely. And Cook. probably uh, move toward one or the other to probably the one that uh, Lee is on a poison. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Just maneuvering over there. Okay. Uh, you can actually get the, the, there to, to flank. We have, we have, um, Perfect. Oh, sorry, Lee, Lee's on us heading the other way. But you can get over to Never that mind. Way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can it's flank fine. with me, right? Oh, I'm sorry, you mean Ashavar, the one that Ashavar threw. Yeah, yeah, so you can flank with Ashavar, who's facing off against that one. But Sinister okay. is just not there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Not, not, near right. not near the poison one. Not near the poison one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. <laughs> let's, okay. let's do some flanking. Uh, Grundy, uh, you're up, and it'll come back to the dock hands. Liazana, you'll be the next player uh, character that's that's up. But Grundy, for now, what you got? So the the dock worker up against uh, would be Captain Ashvar. Um, how is she looking? Mm, I mean, hurt, not like close to death or anything, but pretty hurt. All right, so. 
wouldn't take much to discourage her from doing more, right? Um, I'm going to use uh, Cantrip. And I am going to use Druid Craft. I am going to, in a five foot cube around her specifically, mm-hmm. the whole area just smells like skunk. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at, at Captain Ashimar like the demon. <laughs> like, is this. Oh. <laughs> Still cackling like a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. You probably should have listened to the demon. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. Any, any, uh, that's an action for Druid Path, or is that a bonus? Uh, that was a, that was a cantrip for us. It's still oh, an action, okay. but, um, uh, any bonus? Uh, for uh, bonus. I can, oh, well, there's no point in doing it. So, no, I'm just going to move closer to where Sinister is dealing with the other dude. Mm, okay. Nice. Oops. Big man, big man coming through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You walk <laughs> over and he's, oh, <laughs> looks up at Sinister <laughs> and look, Grundy. Oh, oh, it looks like he's under my control of the demon. You better watch out. <laughs> I look down. <laughs> Hello, little man. Oh no! I'm scared. <laughs> Sweet. Um. Okay. Um. Right. Right. So. Uh, um. You hear some fumbling at the stairs. These captains <laughs> are writing themselves. Um. Both dock workers at this point, seeing the, sh- the UAF ships catching up and hearing that announcement, uh, being thrashed about pretty brutally, um, just, uh, all right, all right, and get down to their knees, hands behind their heads. You hear the captain yell up from the stairs, like, what are you doing? He kind of comes into the doorway, sort of out of combat unless you all want to go after the captain the captain doesn't seem to be fighting wants to talk what what did you say to these the crewmates oh what on earth are you doing with my ship you know what you've stolen oh no another demon <laughs> <laughs> He's coming right for us. That's <laughs> nice. There's, uh, and, and you've cleared, so the di- the island is pretty far in the distance now. It's, you can see it, but it's pretty far in the distance. The two ships behind you are pretty close. It's, the island's almost a, a dot on the horizon at this point. Um, and, and the captain's just trying to open a dialogue with you all. Where do you think you're gonna go? If you get us killed in the middle of this... I don't know who to believe. There's too many demons on board. Oh! oh. <laughs> nice. you... I don't oh. know. If... Oh, he looks at the ash of our demon. Oh. Ah, no. What? Ashmore takes this moment to uh, do the Spider-Man point. <laughs> <laughs> you! I don't know who to believe! <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone tell me what you're trying to do? You're going to get us all killed. Well, you could help us not get killed, or you can go overboard. But... <sighs> What do you do? You think that I can stand up against the UAF and their escort? We believe in you. You could do it. You could do it. Sure. Which one are Sh- you? Sure. Are you the oh. demon or not the oh. demon? Still nursing the knee. Nice. Sure. Uh, what is it you want me to say or do uh, when 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 the escort meets us? Training exercise. <laughs> they know they're here, they're here to escort, not us. 
<laughs> but what's on this ship? Oh. What's that? What, what's, what's on the ship? <laughs> we were just curious, so we figured we'd borrow it for a little bit to take Why a look. Why not take a peek yourselves? I have no idea what's in the crates. I just know it's very valuable. <laughs> he, did, he does it now. <laughs> yeah. So you're guarding the thing and escorting it, and you have no idea what oh. it is or its capabilities. That seems irresponsible. <laughs> or demon talk. Are you the demon too? Uh, I'm not the escort. And, and as he says that, as though with perfect timing, I'm just gonna find this over here. Ah, okay. Hang on, I've got to get this zoom up so I can see. Okay. I'm cruising in. Do this QP style. A massive airship. <laughs> I love it. And does like a 360 around you all. Sweet. Stops here. And they need a bigger airship. Is blocking out the other airships. <laughs> Let's do it over here. No, it's too big. It's, it's, it's silly. Yes. Yeah. Boom. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> everything about this is hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, before you, you say clearly a United, United Aviation Federation ship. I'm just going to tip it on its side so you can see it. And it's cool. Uh, let's see. Ah, the new UAF flagship. One that's been all the talk on Atmos Isles, the Mach 2 version of of their their previous flagship. Along the side, name reads the Peacekeeper. And with that, we'll take our bottom break. Hmm. Garbage. <laughs> wait, no bathroom joke? Nothing. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Well, wait, wait. One one of the the crew members can see the ship and then pee his pants. There you go. No, no. <laughs> we're about to pee our pants because that ship just rolled in. That's like seventeen times it's bigger than fine. the rest of them. It's oh. fine. Okay. Yeah. Everything's fine. It's just on fire. Okay. Yeah. Grundy, who normally doesn't swear, goes, "That's a big fucking ship." <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh. I'll talk a little bit about these on break, but it's pretty cool. So you've got two, the two from the island behind you, closing the gap. You've got this stupid thing that has just shown up, oops, along with the other three ships that it's out, that are, in fact, the escort for this ship that has priceless cargo for the UAF. They always ensure has a proper escort shortly off the island <laughs> once it's clear the island. Um, ooh, it's exciting. We'll see what's gonna happen after break. Oh my gosh. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> uh, goodness. Right. Um, yep. So I'm gonna put our BRB thing up, viewers. Um, take about a ten minute bio break. Uh, behind oh. the scenes, uh, I really just wanted that to come into play, uh, so I'm going to switch this over so you all can see it when we come back and get a better idea of what exactly is Oh my goodness. Oh my. That, that, oh my. That doesn't work well for me, <laughs> does it? Oops. <laughs> what just happened? I'm a cloud. Yeah, <laughs> through the clouds. Dan turned into Mr. Manhattan real quick. <laughs> Dan's on cloud nine. I mean, wow, nice. wow. <laughs> yeah. Head in the clouds. Wow. <laughs> <Excellent. laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got some tricks, maybe, if I could pull it off. But <laughs> this disadvantage is not working out very well. Right. It's tough. It's no joke. And not having, not having a. Uh, not having uh, certain things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have all my junk. I don't have all my swag. Oh. Oh. Well, he always has his junk. Okay? 
<laughs> but he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. Have like, oh no! Out. What happened to Sinister? Oh, uh, it was an accident. <laughs> nice. <laughs> sure it was still a terrible more than he needs. Yeah, more than enough. <laughs> the stair has, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm just half the man I used to be. <laughs> oh, I'm mean, sorry, half the elf I used to be. <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh. I wish I had the Stuff in three dimensions. Summer. I do I, I do I am happy that we're at a certain level that I have some class features I have yet to use that may come in handy under certain under the right conditions, but you know, the way things have been shaken off today is yeah. not well, remind me at the end of tonight's session because there's like a 99 and 8 tenths percent of a chance that you're all going to hit level 7 tonight because you've been through a lot of this island and you were getting pretty close, so. Okay. Ooh, um, ooh. But we, we're we all together, so um, yeah, I might be able to pull off this class feature. Because okay. um, it, it is very... College of Whispers is a very, you know, situational class. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of moving parts to this that I can see why people don't play it, but it is. In the right circumstance, it works out great. Mm -hmm. uh, I played for like three months and never got to really use that much, like hardly any of it, but. Yeah. I've used Words of Terror and mm -hmm. it seems like this would be a good one to use another class feature if it happens i mean it might not i might not be able to pull it off sure the fun uh, thing you're gonna start <laughs> cool. yeah under right circumstances <laughs> but being being that I am a drow, and there's some stuff I put on as a feat that came in clutch right now, like levitate. I don't have to have any spell components for that. It just, just. Somebody happens. did say in in chat, and I did Google it. I think it's like every ten feet of fall. I think it's one like one d six, isn't it, of damage? It's yeah, pretty rough. Yeah. So. So if it was twenty feet, like. Yeah. Okay, one D. Oh, so it's twenty feet, so two D six. Okay. Okay. Uh, total is five. That's pretty good. Yeah, for two D six, it could have it could have went different, a little different, but five points. That's not bad. Yeah. It's above average. Yeah. I think. Rolling a two and a three. Yeah, four. A four would be like the average. So yeah like, getting a five not bad right Poss yeah. out of possibility of what eight no yeah no no ten i guess no twelve 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 total <sighs> oh yeah i guess it is twelve total oh wait what was i thinking i don't i was know. thinking at 2d4 <laughs> Zen said that actually levitate says at the end of the spell that the target drifts down when it ends so they don't fall abruptly. Oh. That's if I'm controlling it, but I I mean that's if I'm lifting myself, but I can I can let it go <laughs> immediately. Oh, Just sure. drop yeah. con concentration yeah. from it. That's basically what he did. He levitate, drop concentration. You know. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised like he didn't just like yeet himself off the ship because mm -hmm. once you levitate something and we're traveling at speed even though it's a slow ship he oh, would have yeah. been like off the ship you would have just like let him go that's true because they stay in place exactly <laughs> physics yeah. lovely thing oh yeah yeah i've actually had to use that as uh as mofan because uh he has levitate as the spell being here ganasi yeah uh i get it as a drop just for being a well, I get it because I I, I took on uh, Drow High Magic feet because he's a noble, and they get they get um, detect magic as a cantrip, mm -hmm. um, oh. levitate, and uh, dispel magic, I believe. 
I may have to drop one of my healing spells just so I can actually have an offensive spell. I mean, something that isn't. I mean, smelling, making the air smell like skunk is offensive enough, but. <laughs> but jury, jury craft is a pretty neat spell. Yeah, it, well, it can do. A, it can do a lot. Also, I I've never actually gone druid before, so this wild shape thing is new to me. So. I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of animals I can change into. Uh, I think we did. I think we discussed it. I just can't find it in my notes because I have like a bajillion notes from all three campaigns here. I think um, it goes. It scales as you scale. Like mm-hmm. you can't. Yeah. The CR reading. Uh, it'll say in there. It's a like CR, CR one. I think it was. Uh, yeah, with the with the uh, DM. So I didn't have him up the fit, the ship. It's a little tricky to levitate, but I, I figured it would conserve his motion. Like, if you jump on a bus, you don't go flying to the back. Like, you keep the momentum yeah. of the thing you're on. Yeah. But it's levitate, so I kind of went with that. Um, and I thought of that, like, if he lifts up shit, but I don't want him to go into the Lovecraftian horror that is the Omega. <laughs> his poor I don't think so. It's like, eh, we'll have him. I don't think Sinister sure. was trying to kill him per se. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think he just wanted him off him and just maybe like make him smart because you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but it did. It... <laughs> you know, knock the wind out of him. But if he did, he probably would have. If he really wanted to hurt him, he probably would have used the more harmful spell. Because mm-hmm. I have a lot of things that I could do in that situation, but I was like, I'm, I'm still on the fence. Like, are we killing people today? Am I the baddie? <laughs> are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. When we come back, we'll be effectively out of combat. And mm-hmm. I'm probably agree with just so you're aware. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is check in with you. Because the ship is pretty fast, despite its size here, and it's flown down into your flight pad. I'm gonna check with you to see what you wanna do. If these guys have their own Star Destroyer. Mm-hmm. I have to let the cat in. I'll be right back. Thanks, mm-hmm. 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 Oh, I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. What's up? Com- Combat Wild Shape is a bonus action. Oh, oh, you get that with your, your circle? Uh-huh. Nice. Well, we so smart enough to get Sentinel. I Sunday game, <clears throat> one of my friends is playing a druid, like the, uh, the star he druid. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> We're almost at the end of the campaign where we fight Strahd and either die horribly or release the <laughs> land from, you know, his his hateful grasp. And uh, <laughs> he's just now starting to use actual well and shape. Before he would just go into Starry Archer form and pew pew and everything. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna be my next whenever I get to play. I think I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dreads are fun. Mm-hmm. Yes, horse for bard and road. Pretty good. Yeah. I, I'm so freaking attached to clerics right now. My other character is a cleric, but she's a trickery cleric, so mm-hmm. not your life. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think my next thing after the Twisted Rails campaign ends is mm-hmm. I might actually switch to the other role this time as a DM. Oh, okay. Because I have had this thing in my head for the longest time to do the Mad Max style one. Mm. Uh, oh. mm-hmm. I was originally going to go for Bitum, but because that is such an old one from like a, like early 90s and the books are all in French I mm. think you know the closest thing I can get is Apocalypse World okay <laughs> but I already have those books so mm. so I'm thinking about hosting something like that nice La Femme Nikita 
plus Fallout. <laughs> it's Mad Max plus Fallout plus Borderlands. Yeah. It's a combination of all three games. Oh, well, two games plus a movie. Fallout actually has an RPG, just so you know. I know, but I wanted mine more Mad max -y than anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, not super high-tech like uh, Fallout is. I like Fallout's RPG because you can even... They have it where you can do solo. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Nice. They have different... They have, like, I don't know, quite a bit of different modes. Co-op, you know, PvP, PvE, you know, kind of... I think the last time I played the um, tarmac, um, the fun thing my character was able to do was make his own bullets. So most of my bullets were magnesium tips, so they would catch fire as they hit. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! Nice. That could go pretty. Well, because basically my, I borrow because you know he's sort of a fan of the old eighty stuff, so his. My character's um, catchphrase was borrowed from uh, Evil Dead. Yeah. <laughs> say hello to my. Basically, he he gets it wrong too. He just say hello to my boomstick. Oh wow! <laughs> nice. Basically, just combined Scarface and um, Ash. Perfect. Ashes. Glatu Barata. Nikto. Rams. <laughs> 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 Rams, but I've got like chocolate all over my hands and my arm. Damn. I... Oh, no. oh no. Yeah. I had a Baby bowl of Dan. cereal once and had mustard on my forehead. And I was like, I, <laughs> like literally, it sounds like a joke, but I'm like, when's the last time I had mustard? What is going on? Yeah, oh, I, just, I don't know. I just, it's, it's, I'm one big. I feel like I need pop. to draw this now. <laughs> You cast confusion on yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hurt himself in his confusion. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you might appreciate this, Dan and Steph, but oh. um, after we uh, our stock campaign ends, we've been oh, going child. back and forth on um, you know what to do next, and my DM is well. They're 18 and uh, very creative, so uh, they were like, we can do uh, like a spell jammer thing, or we could do, um, I think, the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. And, oh. and then uh, they're like, or I have a homebrew world that I was thinking of running a pirate campaign in. Mm. And everybody was like, pirates immediately. <laughs> so, yes. Nice. I'm, I'm gonna be bringing Rhinewind back into the pirate oh, campaign. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Are I'm they gonna still go to gonna wash. have that awesome goddess uh, water walking? Yeah, yeah, like the from Princess Mononoke, the big forest spirit, except it's oh water. My. I'm very back. I just tried to drink my cider with the cap on it, and it got all over me. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everybody yeah, I totally, saw, I, I totally saw that. I was like, "That's amazing!" So you both couldn't drink it because there's a cap on it, but also it got out of the cap, maybe loose enough. To make a mess. That's a complete disaster. Okay, I'm gonna roll put the net one. Roll the net one in dexterity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's nice your beer? Wait, huh? Oh, All right, we are back. Steph will be back. As you probably heard, there was a, a bottle of debacle. <laughs> bottle debacle? Bottle war. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I may have Oreos all over my teeth, too. Sorry, viewers. The, they just <laughs> like to hang out. <laughs> but uh, here we are. <laughs> so, uh, viewers, you can now see what's going on. We've got the green screen. Can I just... Um, I do here for this thing. So you're just gonna look at a green map for today. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I kind of dig it. Mm, we can see a little bit better here what's what's happening too. This is you all. It would have been much cooler if I had time to prime and paint these. <laughs> but here we are. We've got the ships printed. So right, funny okay. story as we're getting back. I was looking at ships and I'm actually gonna put these up at one point for like little mini like fundraiser things. They have ships. These are, this is the mini version. 
of the ship I found online. The full That's card wild. Is wow. three feet long and has four separate playable tiers you can pull apart to walk around in and play. Yeah. They're only like That's 50 awesome. Bucks. Yeah, for the, That's the huge. file. So <laughs> probably that to print it, but I don't care about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, so I got the mini expecting this. <laughs> and so I put it in the slice it up and um, it was pre supported with the slice of the file and I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> Same <laughs> what the devil it is. Yeah. So there are actually um, I found one for titania it's things I couldn't print, but there's one for Titania, there's the Tempest that I really wanted done, but that's the only one that doesn't come as one unit, it comes as parts I've gotta to put together. So I'll be working on that this time. Ship. Neat. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Ooh. But for now, here we are. <laughs> um, so I'll ask a Bottle, no, I'm just kidding, Relith first. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay, Steph? I hope that didn't okay. sour your mood. I know it's frustrating sometimes. I mean, I hope no, it's fine. It just, okay. got, it just got on my neck. So it just kind of like okay. dribbled down my chin like some like old like man. <laughs> Give me that happy <laughs> sauce. <laughs> nice. Mm. Okay. Um, oh wait. As an old man, I can relate. Nice. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, we're all getting there. Some of us faster than others. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, Slowly so deteriorate. A little bit surrounded. Mm -hmm. But this is you. Mm -hmm. The ship's flown in the way. These other ones are. So we can't. Nice. So just so you know, we can't see the map, Dan. Oh, you'll have to watch it on screen. Okay, oh, okay. This all is right. That I'm watching. Okay. okay. Um, it should okay. be a little I easier to see now on the green, hopefully. It is, yeah. Um, so again, uh, Relos, this is you. Two ships from the island and the three ships that came with this little escort convoy. And the new, again, that one that's been all the talk, who's going to captain it and everything else that's been building up on Atmos, it's here. Uh, and it's called the Peacekeeper. UAF. <laughs> Superior really good, nail polish. <laughs> uh, okay. Breathe it. You're manning the controls, and this ship just pulled directly in front of you. What do you do? You're still going full speed. You're, you're ready to crash. Probably 20 seconds away from ramming into the side of it. 19. Can I try and turn? Yeah, go for it. Make a survival check uh, with disadvantage. Okay. Well, that's an eight. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, you start cutting the wheel. 18 seconds, 17, 16, you're watching, 15. 14 and you're starting to get it sinking in you're not going to make this turn it's not enough ground you're going to have to slow down or stop or try something else what do you do 13 yeah she would she would wow. start slowing down yeah do a stop yeah probably okay about five seconds out you could probably run almost and jump off of your ship and catch the side of the peacekeeper that close but Damn. you come to a stop and oops start hitting tail could Ashavar do her um because I think speaking is a free action and mm -hmm. speaking into somebody's brain as a racial trait mm -hmm. might be the same absolutely uh she would uh ping Breleth quick quickly and be like Hey, we can cut the engines and then reboot them when they're when we're like way down underneath them. <laughs> so we're free falling. Just suggesting. Oh. I I don't know what that means. Turn turn it off. Turn off Wait, the engines so do we they... can start falling. <laughs> oh well, she's not around the engines, right, Dan? Like they're somewhere yeah, else, you're at navigation. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they they would be below deck somewhere. I'm not. The engines aren't here. I can't. Two bodies start. Did you want me to go? And they're on the deck. You may run to them. Two people. Uh, Brila's gonna Three. run to wherever she thinks that the engines would be, Dan. Two people. Okay, you start running off of that as four 
UAF crew members are now on your ship with another four or five dropping down. Lay down, uh -huh. face down, hands behind your back on the upper deck of the ship. You have nowhere to run. Surrender, and you will be shown mercy. This is coming from the Peacekeeper. The other ships are probably different. Okay. Sinister immediately invisible. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where would you like to be as you're invisible, Sinister? Do you want to go anywhere in particular as you're invisible? Oh. Well, um, as soon as he does that, I'm booking. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from the area as soon okay. as possible, so I, I'm not around this. So that maybe um, be undetected, you know, depending. But um, if, let me think, what would he think? He would go invisible to probably hide, <laughs> to go below maybe and hide. I mean, he's trying to, uh, and he's curious as to what the they're escorting to so i don't think he would necessarily think to shut the engines off he's thinking out of i don't want to be caught but i also <laughs> want to see what's going on nice nice okay um the four or five people that are on your deck are tied off with the mechanism around them in case anything happens just so you know if anything happens and you try and push them off they won't free fall to their deaths they're, they're tethered to their ship Yes, Rila. You're mm -hmm. racing around. So Dan, I so Rila's used hidden step before, and it's something that she knows really well. Now, hidden step's wording is a bonus action. You can magically turn invisible until the start of your next turn, until you attack, make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw. Mm -hmm. How would that work out of battle? Uh, six seconds of invisibility. Okay. Well, then, yeah, she would know that, and she wouldn't do it. Okay. okay. Just wanted to ask. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Would I have had time to like wild shape? Yeah, absolutely, yep. Mouse. Okay, <laughs> down into all. Like, where did Grundy go? Um, uh, and now that you're a mouse, is there anywhere you want to go, hide or head toward in the ship? For, for I want to be nearby where I can hear and see everything, but enough so that they're you know they don't see <laughs> ah mouse. <laughs> Right. Uh, at the top of the stairs, just on either corner, no one really looks there. Unless you're walking up the stairs, then someone might look. But walking down, they probably won't see. It's kind of dark in there. You can hang in here if you want it. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. As long as I have a clear view of everything that's going on. Uh, that'd be more for listening, but, uh, you know, it's a typical ship. If you have a spot where you'd like to go, let me know, and we'll just we'll plug you in here. So let me get this straight. Two people that were right beside each other just basically boop out of, out of yeah, sight. Yeah, the ropes, yeah, they're like attached to the ropes and tethered. And there's like four or five on the ship sort of walking over, um, giving hand gestures to you all like to, to get down as, as that speech is, is being broadcast. Three lists, Are they... Go ahead, sorry. Oh. A good extra. Um... Are they like kind of close to each other and they haven't quite gotten too close to us? Like, are they 20 or so feet away yeah. still? Mm -hmm. Okay, can I cast a spell? Sure, absolutely. Uh, well, I'm gonna do the subtle spell again um, and cast Sleet Storm and center it basically where it would hit all of them and um, behind the ship and not us. Okay. Um, it doesn't do damage, but... Uh, so, doesn't do damage. Non-lethal. Um, but basically, the area is heav heavily obscured. Exposed flames in the area are doused. The ground in the area is covered with slick ice making it difficult terrain. Um, when the creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a dexterity saving throw on a failed save that falls prone. If a creature starts its turn in the spell's area and is concentrating on the spell, they have, you know, concentration saving throw. Okay. Um, but yes. 
That's awesome. What what's the uh, range again of the spell? It's the radius of the spell. Forty feet. So I want to make it kind of in, like centered, so the edge is like a few feet in front of them, so they're like stumbling forward. Okay. But uh, but yeah, it's very slippery now. Right. So. All right. Hello. Hello. So you cover, I guess it would be smaller, huh? Not to really scale like that. So let's do this one here. Okay. Here in the back of your ship, I'm just going to tuck it under the ship a little bit. Back half of the ship. Um, actually, you're stopped here, so the front half of the ship is covered in that. And, um, yeah, get that successfully set up. You hear some shouts and yells as they're, as they're racing through this now fleet. Doesn't that make it flicky, sad? And they've got the dex check and everything else? Yeah. Okay. But I, they, I don't think they have to make it until they start their turn. Okay. In, in the sleet. I'll have to do it since we're sort of out of combat and walking through. Wow, two of them here, two thuds and... <laughs> and a... <laughs> <laughs> another one. <laughs> <Is there> something. <laughs> um, the third one's uh, walking through, but still not out of the sleep. So you're here, this pleasing heat, right, of, of mid uh, midsummer, sweltering heat, high humidity, nothing but sky around you, but the sun is just blotted out by the peacekeeper before you. Other UAF ships coming around. Realists running below deck, frantically trying to find the engines, shut them off. Sinister is going invisible to be to hide and be ready. Rundy's shifted down to a mouse to eavesdrop and, and, and notice. And Ashavar, you've cast this beautiful sleet storm. Um, Zia, do you have anything that you'd like to do as all this is, is taking place? Uh, Zia's uh, got a drop to the deck mm -hmm. and the hands over okay. her head, just giving herself up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice. All right. That's the biggest ship she's ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so you do the other, the two dock people also stay down and the captain gets down too. Like they're just, they don't want to be caught in the crossfire. They're nervous as well. Um, Liazana, what would you like to do? This, this kind of... Um, I would assume she would see that Raylis ran down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. below decks. Um, I mean, she's gonna try to like ask her as she's running, like, where are you going? Well, below decks, to to Ashra wants me to turn off the uh, to turn off the engines. And then once we fall, we can turn them back on and maybe get away from them. Okay, I'm going to assume that Mindlink is safe for us to use now. Since Perhaps. we're already outed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what she's going to say is, I'm going to go up to, uh, to now, to steering. You tell me as soon as you turn it back on, and I'm gonna get us out of here. And she's gonna, gonna her a quick hug before she. Leaves. She's actually gonna give you like a really, if she can, she's gonna give you like a really quick hug. And then she's gonna like immediately run up to, um, to steering. Okay. You head up. It's just outside of this epic sleet storm that. It's almost like dry ice cascading down the outside of the sleep storm. It's contained, but it's just flowing over itself. Uh, and you're five feet away, so you get up behind <laughs> behind the steering wheel, and, and you're ready. Relith, you find a pretty rudimentary setup, uh, on-off switch almost, for the ships. <laughs> for all intents and purposes, there's an easy way to disable and re-enable it. What do you do? I'm gonna turn it off. You turn it off. Okay, it's off. Mm. 
<laughs> no, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> your stomach goes up through your mouth as you're like, ooh, lurch, because it has that lag with the artificial gravity. Um, oh. And uh, uh, thankfully, that's a separate system. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Fly <laughs> off the ship. It's just, yeah, lost. Uh, no, uh, but you all have, like, uh, Zia, you float up, like, two feet, Woo! you get pulled back down to the ship, like, Woo! and it's just race, just plummeting, straight down plummeting, um, reaching terminal velocity quickly. Alright, Hila's going to mind link with, 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 with uh, Liazana. Mm -hmm. The ship um, is rattling, just, are we... Can you see if we're below the ship? Are we below the ship? Um, I would assume we'd be below the ship at this point, right? Uh, you're a bit below it, yeah. Yep, you're not close to the Omega Cloud yet or anything, but um, you're not that far below it. <clears throat> it's dropping quickly, but... Keep them off for just, a, for just a few okay. seconds. Okay, let me know. I'll give you, I'll give you the, the word. Rattling and shaking, the ships all tip and lean down to pursue. Yeah, but it's just and holding on. Speeding up. Now mm. you are dropping faster than the ships are pursuing you, but they're going pretty quickly. They're not catching up. You're at a slower pace, but if you were to start up now, you basically you know you're going to have to freefall and cut it kind of close to the Omega curve if you want to get any bit of distance on that when you when you put them back on. How close do you want to cut it? If you had to put it on a scale of one to ten, one being like stupid close, ten being like safe from the Omega Cloud, but putting you in danger of the ship catching up quickly. I'll put that in Liazana's hands to, sh to discuss with everyone. All right, so Sinister is trying to be invisible and he's running and he's trying to go down to find the cargo <laughs> so i could just only imagine that it's i'm off i don't i don't <laughs> there's wind howling through the ship it is not designed to free fall uh <laughs> and the, the if your board's rattling and creaking and groaning under the, the pressure <laughs> okay have these on i i have an idea <laughs> bear with me on this you guys i have an idea okay we're gonna cut it really, really damn close. Like two to one to the Omega C. Running down as you guys are descending. Ooh, that's uh, not good, is it? I mean, I thought the artificial gravity was still in, in effect, but you can at least feel the- You can feel it in your stomach a bit. Still. Yeah. You're okay. at about a five right now. I okay, think that's a great so... idea, Liazana. A hundred percent. I'm for Let's it. Go. I trust you. Yep. Do it. Just let me know. Oh god, I wish I so would have noticed. So she's gonna send she's gonna send a very, very quick mind link to Alianor. Oh, okay. What, what do you and say? she's and uh just as we're getting like really close to you, Mega C, uh she's gonna mind link Alianor and say, um We just came off the training island. Peacekeeper pursuing us. Please send help if you can. And right when we get to like two or one, she's going to switch over to Bria and say, "Get him back on. Let's get out of here." Push as soon as oh. soon as she starts saying something. Excellent. Well, make a quick uh, deck saving throw in case that gives you any extra, Bria. This is your reaction time. Well, <laughs> I that is a nine. Can okay. I give you my sub die? Oh wait! I, I have wait, a Patreon die. I, wait, I have a die too. Wait, it, it's my it's my thing. It's my where's my where's my Twitch? It's my anniversary. Oh nice. Uh, it's gone. My anniversary prompt is gone. Uh oh. Let me let me refresh it and see if it will show up. There it is. Thirty six months. Yeah! Yay, thank you, Seth. <laughs> Three years! You did it! Wow! Dang, that's... I've already known you guys that long. 
So what's I feel so very old now. Oh. So what's a sub die? What's a sub die? A two and eight. Woo! So a nine, okay, plus uh maybe this is Oh, sorry, I I was looking for a second so like you were rolling. Uh and so nine plus an eleven. Okay. All right. Well, that's the max that you can do um, for this particular tech here. Uh, and immediately you're waiting. You're like, does ah! so the ship feel like it's falling apart? And go, boom, you smack the button and, and you hear the, the intense strain on this engine. Uh, actually, I need to do a check here quickly. Okay. Hear it like, oh no, this doesn't sound good. It gets a high whine, like a vacuum that's got something clogged. Like, <laughs> and you feel the drag of that, your stomach and your throat push towards the, the your back as it starts moving forward. Mm -hmm. What you got, Brela? Brela's going to speak comforting words to the engine. Um, <laughs> Brela's going to. Um, just kind of like lean on one of the engines and just like it's okay it's all right you can do it you got this um and uh she said this is i know this isn't going to help it but she's going to cast guidance as, on on the engine beautiful um all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> busy down there uh bathing the engine the rest of you feel you tumble back a little bit as that gravity's trying to make up for the sudden shift and forward momentum. Um, it am I past Breelith or is Breelith ahead of me? Or uh, Breelith would have gone down to the lowest deck. Uh, okay. That's. I'm trying to find the cargo. Okay. There. You'd be in the same deck, uh, not the first one below, but the second one. You'd be in the back half of the ship. Breelith's in the front half with the engine. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, when I'm running down the stairs, okay, as we're falling and then mm -hmm. we correct, am I, am I like, uh, briefly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and then it catches up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. And cutting it, having cut it so close, you're all... You've got a pretty good lead. Now, now that you're moving forward, they'll have an advantage. But this has bought you some time to consider, to do what else. You've got that message out to Allie. No response yet, Leah. Uh, Liazana. And um, you were hauling, hauling ass. Uh, and... Who's on the upper deck still? So, yeah, are you still face down? Or are, <laughs> are you getting up? Or are you just like, mm, I'm staying here? Okay. <laughs> I think after the the bump and the falling and everything, mm -hmm. he's just going to stay right there. Nice. <laughs> it's just going to be good. <laughs> awesome. All right, can I, may I have uh, Zia, Ashavar, Rundi, who's keeping an eye up top, and Liazana, who's up top uh, at the helm. Make a perception check at disadvantage, please, because no sleep. Uh, Lisa, what'd you get? Man, I came really close to rolling a two on that other one. Um, <laughs> I actually got a pretty good roll. Okay. Perception. Mm -hmm. uh, that's dirty 22. Woo! Okay, beautiful. All right. Um, Grundy? Um... How does that work as a, as a, well, I guess there's no mouse, there is rat, but it has rat disadvantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on smell. I guess this is not smell, right? No, no, no not this one. <laughs> okay, perception at disadvantage, though. right? Perception uh, at disadvantage. That dang it. A seven. Okay, okay. Um, Zia? I think. That's a really, really solid five. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> fitting, I suppose, right? It's a, yeah. um, um, and Ashapar. <laughs> We're five twenties. Oh, what, I'm sorry, what did you get, Ashapar? Also a five. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. 
There's a bit of panic. Uh, you have never been this close to the Omega Sea, ever. This is maybe, maybe only the very bottom of that city. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it. It's not Staffney Island, it's the other one. It was a group, the research where, where Ash came aboard. Some hazy? Um, Sip. Some hazy isles, thank yeah, you. Some hazy, yeah. Everyone. So during the plummet, it, even though it's bright summer day, it's gotten darker and darker and darker. It's so these rolling clouds of miasma glow that suck up the sunlight itself. And you are rolling what feels like uh, the bottom of the ocean is dark. Light is barely coming in up above. And you feel this intense sense of, of unease. A little fear mixed in uh, for whatever reason. And uh, a touch of dread. Uh, it's just oppressive here. Oppressive. Uh, mm. And you are. But you've made a substantial lead ahead of these other ships. In fact, just the representative. Liazana, you alone notice as you're up on your perch navigating, you are uh, going full speed, I imagine. You put it into full throttle. Oh, yeah. Okay. As you have leveled out, you notice that the Omega Sea, the clouds that make this up beneath you, are roll as they roll over one another, are almost rolling upward on top of one another so to, to build up and reach out to you. How do you want to navigate? Maybe it's just a, a weird phenomenon. Does it mean anything? Maybe there's something to that sense of dread. I I think she would remember the disaster from Simhazy, and she would try mm -hmm. to um, like navigate around them or like above them but try to stay I hesitate to say safely close to the next seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's it's not really safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one's the lesser of two evils? Mm. Alright, so you pull up a bit to to climb above it. And you do successfully keeping a, a fair bit of a lead between the other ships because they're they're also pitching down to catch up to you. You're just going straight ahead. Um, so you manage to keep your lead for the time being. Uh, it's not long that the clouds continue to pile even faster now. A brief flash of memory of this of this, one of the storms you encountered, where the Omega Sea roiled itself up and connected to a funnel cloud that was going down from a thunderstorm, a cloud from the storm connecting with the gigantic Leviathan. Cthulhu-esque Leviathan creature in it. Oh gosh. Um, quick question. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Does the mind link include our crew? Uh, does, it does, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, we linked in quite a bit of crew members. Uh, okay, and they're about how far out from the wherever we were? Maybe, um, for a normal ship, I would say, I don't know, a few hours. For them, yeah. not even that. Um. And the pirates said that they were only go they were going to head back to the island when it was time to pick you up, but they were going to try and stay close-ish. It's as close as it could without getting, you know, detected. So they were going to stay with your ship too. So I forget if you had your ship staying at that pickup island or staying close. But I think our ship is with uh, Titania. Okay, is. right. So they're over at the pickup island. Your ship travels much faster than a regular ship, so it would not take too long for them to get there. Half an hour, forty-five minutes. Sea rises higher. Closer. 
Um, okay. She's gonna send an open mind link to everybody. Full knowledge that Grundy's not on here, so she's gonna say, okay, guys, I'm gonna preface this by whoever is nearby Grundy, wherever Grundy is, pass this along. Um, crew, if you can hear this, we need your help. We have stolen a ship. Can't explain. We need you to come meet us and very, very, very quickly, as, as quickly as she can, try to give their approximate coordinates. Okay. Full speed ahead, come get us. Um, pass it along, and, and she's trying to mm -hmm. concentrate on that while navigating around okay. the clouds of the Omega Sea. It's, it's now, swelling I, I, below, you've got to pull up. And you do hear yeah. reply, oh, I, Cotton, will be there, right, we? Uh, that's Vic that just gives a nod of confirmation. Did I see Grundy turn into a mouse before I hit the disappear or the invisible? Did you try and hide it all, Grundy? Or were you just like for speed? No, because it's literally right beside the yeah, literally So beside, they would have yeah. seen seven, eight go to like four inches right away. <laughs> Okay, if that's the case, I can cast message by, like, you know, pointing towards the mouse to let Grundy know what's going on. I nod and squeak. I don't know what that means. I, I really don't. I don't get that. And then... Oh, yes, yeah, squeak and squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> um, as soon as she hears a confirmation from Vic, she's going to say, okay, Everybody on the ship, start getting the cargo up on deck. This is going to have to be a very quick operation. Once I'm ship looking. Gets here. I'm currently looking for the cargo, Captain. If anybody else can help Sinister, please do. I have to. I have to man the helm. Sea rises further and further at an escalating pace. So you have to pitch the ship up and up and up. It's it's as though it's trying to swallow you. Little bit by little bit, the ships and the you lose a little bit of your lead. Perhaps about at your best guess, another four or five minutes before they catch up. You're pulling up. You're you're at about half of the distance that you fell. Up. When you see pulling out of a really like slowing down from a very fast pace. A ship, a skiff, <laughs> facing him. Another. Three more behind. Mm -hmm. Backwards, holy shit. <laughs> 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 These all slow down, and then, just behind them, Again, uh, this one sort of slow motion. This one flies directly over you and past you. That's for you all if you're watching the stream. Oh no. A ship that you recognize as the ship of the Fleet Admiral Ruthlonius of the Sky. Yay! Oh. Heck yes! Flying it I don't. If I could kiss that is a, a ship, sick ass ship. If I could kiss a Dang. ship in the mouth, I'd kiss this ship. <laughs> <laughs> there with you. Drag that ship into a closet and make out with it. We'll make Ooh. out with that ship. Tastes like wood. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> tell me about mm. that wood. wood. Piratey. <laughs> I've never had pirate oh, wait wood. A this is like pirate wood. Mm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, chat's okay, I'm the done. Nuts. Oh, and, a bit of and then it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Serves me right. Super hot ship. Mm, some white heat. <laughs> you fly ship. just below it as it pieces overhead, and you watch it begin to turn about face as it fires from the two cannons in front at oh, the no. peacekeeper. <clears throat> and they turn uh. to face one another and make a pass uh, of cannon fire at one another. 
Oh my goodness! Chaos in the air and fallout above you. Huge plumes of smoke as as the black powder set off to fire these cans. Do, 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 do. You hear a splintering of wood on both ships as cannon fire is exchanged. The skiffs from each side begin to go into a dogfight um, around you. They begin to catch up. I'm just I'm just going full speed ahead. Okay, you continue on. Um, another ship comes down and cuts right across. Oh, sorry, here you are. Cuts right past in front of you, facing in a you know in a dogfight against another ship. You narrowly have to duck and, and cut to the right. And then make life so much here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> These two ships are heading off to the side to continue their fight. This one, a sh- one of the dog. Um, like one of these ships, uh, the skiffs here, get blown out of the sky by Captain, by Admiral Rufloni's ship. The other one, oh my, he was over to the sky and protect its own ship. Um, long fights. You pass through some explosions <laughs> nearby in the air, um, pursuing forward. Forward, forward. Are you just looking to GTFO, Liazana? Yep. Okay. Um, by the way, when you dropped, of course, the people that were tethered to the other ship just yoinked and stayed tethered to the ship. So you don't have anyone mm-hmm. on there. Um, yeah. You fly forward, forward, forward. Just going to move everyone else back here. Get a better impression. Um, the distance. That is insane. The sounds of battle begin to, to get a, just a little less in your face. Right now, it's like a thunderstorm is right overhead where it cracks and snaps instead of rolling thunder. That's the type of uh, artillery sounds that are going off in these ships. And uh, it's a huge, epic almost face off between the UAS, the, the lead ship, the Peacekeeper, the brand new one from the United Avi- Aviation Federation. And Admiral Ruth Lonius and, and five of his, his pirate crew, uh, pirate ships in tow in a face-off uh, to make sure that whatever you have gets out of there. Oh. Thanks to, to Grundy's reply and the communique between the pirates and Grundy. Oh, jeez. Five minutes goes by, the sound softens. And... 15 feels like an eternity. You're at a distance where you should feel safe. That feeling of unease remains. Knowing if this turns south, those ships or whatever's left, they'll catch up to you. Where do you head, Liazana? You're about a half an hour out of that moment. Ships. Um... She's gonna do a quick check. Oh, go ahead, Relis. Sorry. Oh, you go ahead. I was just gonna say, uh, she's probably gonna do a quick check in with um, Vic and try to figure out where they're at in regards to where we're at. Okay. Sure thing. Um, oh, right, Captain, we're, we're about um, 10 minutes away from. Um, all right, because you're traveling towards M2. Uh, if you're updating him with your coordinates, and oh, well, maybe about five minutes away or so, uh, hang tight, uh, keep it full pace, and we'll be there soon. Okay, and then um, she wants to check in with everyone else to see if we've been getting cargo ready to unload. Okay. All right, I'll jump in with real fear then, and then I'll <laughs> go over to some stairs. Even though Liazana told everyone to help with the cargo, Brila probably would have went back up to Liazana just in case she needed protected while she was piloting. Okay. You end up standing around and seems to be. Um, Sinister, you definitely found uh, the cargo station. There were a couple of uh, rooms off to the side that have some of the smaller cargo, but there was a there's a heavy lock. Um, not, uh, it's very complex. Um, there's, well, there's two locks, technically. 
They're both pretty complex, one far more than the other, and one of them has seems to have some magic, magical component to the lot as well. You've probably oh. been taught a little of arcane lot, but you think the good stuff's probably in that. It's a very rearmost room that takes up the whole width of the ship. Oh, this is gonna suck. All right, he's gonna drop his uh, invisibility. Like, uh, all right, and he's gonna he's gonna be like, all right, this is magical, right? So he's gonna say, "Hit me with your best shot," and then um, hit uh, dispel magic oh, on nice. it. You. Uh, we we'll see. Uh, so that's if it's higher than a what? At what level are you casting? It's my. Uh, it's my uh, one thing that I get with Drow High Magic. Uh, it's. Oh. Uh, it's just a once a day thing that I get. Okay. You know. But I think that's whatever level it comes at, which I think is level three. I believe it's a level three. Okay. So you so. feel the magic. <laughs> You should feel it deconstructing as you cast the spell. You're unweaving the magic before it fades apart all the way. You left Fire the away! <laughs> uh, then he's gonna uh, he's gonna be like, Zia, I'm gonna need your expertise. You're gonna have to show me how you do this, but I need your help. <laughs> what is Zia doing? <laughs> um. Definitely still kind of head down, <laughs> and so can we can we play it out from from that moment? Mm, absolutely. Then? Okay, mm. chill. So he's definitely gonna like perk up, kind of look and see where the captain and the other two are, and like kind of seeing that they're the only other ones that are down right now, and potentially like if they <laughs> see that she's looking up, that they might come after her. It's kind of like uh. I'm not really sure if I can move right help, now. Help, 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 Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then <laughs> bolt up and nice. run Walk down. Carefully yeah. step over the, the barrel and <laughs> keep going. Nice, nice. All right, you can uh, <laughs> make a lock picking check. So that'll be um, a dexterity check. You get to add your proficiency bonus. Which is whatever now at level six, I and then it's... I'm I'm gonna be like, you can do it, mm, and mm. give uh, extra bardic inspiration. Ooh, oh, okay. Nice. So wait, um, I don't know, I don't remember what the uh, what is the proficiency bonus? It's, it's like add plus three. Plus three. Plus three. Okay. So, so yeah. I can just roll a normal, and then just add three to it. Plus whatever your dex is. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. Totally. Um. So that would be a 23. Nice. Um, oh. you, you tackled the more difficult of the two locks first. Easy peasy for you today. You're like, oof. Something I can do that doesn't involve falling hundreds of feet from the air. I <laughs> knew you'd be the okay. right one to get in this. Let's there's a, go. So there's a second lock, but it seems to be much easier. But you'll have to do one more check for the second one. You can add my um, D8. So it's gonna be a 16. Add a D8 as well, if you wanna, because I gave you inspiration if you feel like. Oh, right, yeah, you could add Oh, that. okay. So that would be uh, 24. Okay, so okay. Once again, not a problem for Zia to go through these two complex locks. <laughs> sure, up from Sinister is just like, you know, mm. she's coming back, she's coming back. <laughs> nice. The doors is yours to open, if you so wish. Let's get in there. All right. Let's go. All right. It's like salon doors or <laughs> just uh, saloon just doors. A... Saloon doors. Oh my god. Salon. It's a doggy you know, door. That's a great con an yeah. open door concept. <laughs> Thank you. Salons too. <laughs> nice. All right. It's so, fine. Um, fine. Fine. yeah. Well, give me a quick sec. Uh, who's walking in first? Sinister. All right. I feel like Just... for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Magic gone. I want the treasure. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Nice. All right, you walk in. No traps. <laughs> okay, thank God. You just find it there. Yeah. Our wow. crates galore in here. All 
very secure down. There's a number of iron bolts uh, or, or eye loops in the floor um, and chains and rope and different uh, uh, types of uh, fastening gear uh, and nets are thrown over to hold everything nicely in place where they're stacked. Um, uh, okay, so I'm going to say, I know we're tired and this sh ship keeps lurching and we're under attacks, uh, presumably, but we need to be able to find what we can find. And I have faith in you and I hope you have faith in me. So I'm going to inspire both of us just in case we need that extra dice to find what we need to find. Nice. As you two are looking, you can go ahead and make investigation checks. For... Let me just run around real quick as you two are doing that. Um, Liazana and Brila, if you two are up with at the nav mm -hmm. at the wheel. Is real quick, is that regular roll or uh or... disadvantage for All right. you for okay. Thank you for the rain, diesel shot. Love it. Hope you had fun this evening, Diesel. <laughs> That's a heck of an investigation check. <laughs> um, okay, so Lee's on a breathe. Is there anything else you're doing or just like focusing on getting away from there? I mean, it's been like a half an hour. Anything else you want to do? Focusing still, full steam ahead. Okay. I'm really just going to want to leave her alone. So, hey, uh, Grundy, how about you? Uh, reverting back and seeing as we still have three potential hostels here, I'm going to take the time to tie them up. Okay. They go along with it. They're like, oh, the dock workers are like, <laughs> <laughs> the dock workers <laughs> are like, um, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not going to, we get paid to load <laughs> stuff. We, we don't, uh, they don't pay us enough for this. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna and one of them got you. yeeted up and backed out. So, yeah. yeah and poison sprayed. Yeah. They're done. The one of them too. smells like a skunk now. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, you take your time and you, you, you know, bind them properly so that they, they smell them. Yeah. Just look at them, behave. And then I go over to help. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming Sinister had told me because in my rat's mind, that's all I could hear. Ah, right. yeah 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 right. so i'm uh so i'm going to help out with the cargo okay and i will inspire him as soon as he comes in to help and that'll be all my inspiration Ooh, cool okay so um, remember that uh if you would grandi just that you've got that we're gonna right. go ahead yeah, and click make the... an investigation check with disadvantage grandi i won't ask the role answer yet i'll get back to you in just a minute so three of your investigation, mm -hmm. investigation but don't forget you've got the d8 to add if you uh, while you're all doing that, Ashavar, what are you? How? <laughs> well, um, she'll the eventually. Save, right? mm -hmm. She'll eventually realize that uh, she's not really helping at the moment. Just standing on deck. I think maybe the captain disguise has dropped by now. It's an hour, um, mm -hmm. but. She was she was pretty much still keeping up the act until the, the spell dropped. And... <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, but then she realizes, oh wait, need to do stuff. Have to stop hamming around, um, and we'll go down with uh, Grundy uh, oh. to help him tie up the crew members and uh, help with the cargo. Okay. Um, you can make uh, an investigation check at disadvantage as well. Oh, I just give Ashavar a thumbs up, like, you can do <laughs> it. <laughs> um, I rolled a oh. six, and then with the with the, uh, the 1d8, I got an eight, so 14. Brandy, Sinister, what'd you get? All right, so it was seven plus two, which is nine, plus seven, so Ooh. 16. Okay. Beautiful. 16, 14, and Zia. Right, you were. 25. Yeah. Whoa! Nice. What? Okay. Oh what? 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 Say that again. <laughs> awesome. Two 18s on disadvantage. So. That's amazing. Yes. 18 plus 7. 
Well, you were due. Yes, <laughs> so yes, really yes. Well, so. well uh, hopefully it matters. <laughs> uh, Ashavar, how about you? Uh, big old six. So she probably just hits her head on a, on a crate. <laughs> It's <laughs> like, oh, this is not my bailiwick. <laughs> Bless your heart. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, so as you two begin investigating, I mean, as you four begin investigating, Liazana and Brila, um, you don't have to do perception checks. It's pretty obvious. They, um, from behind, rather quickly, um, you see Admiral Ruslonis's a dog approaching. No skiffs. Seems to just be this ship um, pulling out from behind. After a few minutes, after a minute or so, you do see three of the skiffs. And they appear to be the pirate skiffs. Yes. Okay. There were five. Only only three now. And. Um, yeah, is there anything that Liazana and Brelis want to do as, as downstairs takes some time to investigate, of course, uh, as this here? Well, if I just feel like, uh, should we, should we stop? I... You know what? Yeah. Uh, and she's going to, like, uh, she doesn't see... Liazana doesn't see any UAF following him, does she? No. Okay. Um, are they pretty well above the Omega C at this point that they can pretty safely stop? You're, yeah, you're back to a cruising attitude. This ship just pulls up beside you. You have to sort of match one beside, one above up here. And then one kind of um, below, ain't you? The safeguarding pattern, ain't you? Um, do we see like Captain Ruth or anybody that we recognize? Not yet, um, because if you're all still moving, um, you know, n nothing yet. Uh... Okay. Yeah, she's going to slowly. Um, start bringing the ship to a stop. Do that. Come to a stop. So do the other ships. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll, you know, sort of be up at the same height as this ship here. I'll just put you this on top of that one. <laughs> as you, um, head her off next to their ship. And... Mm -hmm. I'm going to start covering... Uh, I haven't forgotten about the investigation checks, just because it takes a little bit of time to do. Um, I'm um, set up mm -hmm. Can Breelith, with just as Lizan is coming, kind of stopping the ship, um, he's on a... Do you... Is it not... Uh, you're not worried about giving the pirates... I mean, what if this is what if what's in the crates is powerful or potentially dangerous i'm not saying that like i'm just i don't know you don't really have an alternative but i know but we're not even sure yet if what they, they were looking for is actually down in the cargo hold. We just know that something valuable is down there. You don't think they're going to take it once they they find out that it's something? They might. Okay. I'm not sure, but I think what I would know is I'd rather it not be in the hands of the UAF if they're going to be using it the way that they were using it on us. All right. Okay. Let's serve two evils, you know? Yeah. That's all. Okay. 
Um, you're all talking above, and um, as you're maneuvering your ship to go, to go in tandem here with theirs, um, you see a ship approaching off the horizon and heading towards you uh, at very fast speed. Uh, slowing down quite abruptly is the Tempest ship crew. After all this time apart, just the sight of your crew working and walking across the deck, pulling you know rope and managing the ship, um, but also uh, you know Vic standing at the front looking looking up scanning doors. Um, Luan the Drake walks out of the main. Uh, Abin area on the dreadnought here and um, begins walking over to you with her excited wave uh, and looks off at the ship that's arriving as the three skiffs begin accelerating to go intercept this new ship that's arrived. Um, you see, with a bit of worry, uh, these three skiffs of the pirates flying off to engage the uh, if she sees, she's gonna like try to like wave down, like, "Yo, that's that's our ship, that's our ship." Wanda is seeing that. Oh, uh, um, uh, and fumbles through a, a pouch on her belt. Right, and grabs a stone, <laughs> looks off to herself for a minute, and the, and the ships disengage and and come back and form a pattern around um, the dreadnought. You know, those two glow. This one. And your ship pulls up um, the side. Your ship, not quite the size of this, but but uh, most of it. Um, your ships are, are moderately big too. They're probably like two thirds of that. Um, well, I guess a little bit less. Probably like uh, one third. Um, and uh, Luana Great is. Oh, um. <laughs> You're alive? The, you know, uh, jumps on board your ship while everyone's investigating down below. It's Liaison and Brie up top. Your investigation's almost done downstairs. Um, I, uh, is it just the two of you, though? That was nasty back there. Uh, no, everyone else is still trying to investigate what cargo we've got. And Grundy, Grundy's accounted for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Grundy's down there. All right. All right. <laughs> You've also got some UAF personnel on the ship. Oh, we'll do that. That we currently have hostage. Oh, that's fine. We'll take care of them. Nothing to worry about. Uh, we're, um, oh. Are they uh, UAF through and through, or are they just sort of, uh, you know... I, I don't know... I mean, they started to, but when uh, when the peacekeeper came, uh, they basically gave up. There was it, it was just two dock hands and and oh. the the captain of this ship, I guess. We'll give him a fair shake, then. All right, we'll give him a fair shake. Let's we'll see what the captain knows about well, anything useful. The dock hands will drop off at the next next stop. All right. Um, so, did you find out uh, how they were pinpointing our our ships and everything? Mission success. Uh, it might be a little complicated. Um, I mean, we've got we've got a lot that we were learning about. Um, and she's gonna like try to explain, like, you know what she saw, what Brila saw, like anything that she knows um, that the others saw, uh, uh, what they heard about the, the the magic cargo, and she's going to say that's what we're looking for right now to see if that is that specifically is on the ship. Oh. I'm glad to say we're here, and we'll take the ship off your hands. Looks like your ship is back. Mission success. Oh, that's so good for me, for us. For everyone um oh this is great um we did have some intel since you've been there this week that there that there may be a device involved and 
Although it wasn't anything said about uh, being there on that island. We did hear they were looking to install a device on their new flagship there, the Peacekeeper, that tight piece of fucking that just kind of bumped under a breath after <laughs> the, the firefight. Um, Actually, I believe that's where the ship was heading. It was Atmos. I think, uh, I think you did an extra fine job. Um, I'll be sure to tell um, Admiral Ruthlonius, and, and you hear these very confident footfalls. If you can hear confidence in, a, in footsteps, it would you would hear it in the Admiral that walks up some 20, uh, 25, 30 feet away, approaching behind her. Um, very suave and, and debonair with his very piratey uh, gear. Walks up. Just gives a sigh. <laughs> Shakes his head a bit. Um, at all the madness that just ensued. Uh, you can see the, the wear in his face from the battle. Losing two skiffs, two pirate ships with all the, the his pirate members. It's been a tough day for everyone. A tough week for all of you. There's this window, thanks to your quick investigation, where... Um, via Ashavar, Sinister, and Grundy have found a few different things in this cargo before they're gonna, you know, take over the ship. And, um... <clears throat> there's a little... The smell of, of the black powder from the floor to the place, and some of the smoldering wood from sections of this red dot you see uh, uh, spies carried over and it settles in a minute that we're lost. UAF and the pirates are two big players uh, in this, this world. It's settling in all the more. That's this conflict escalating. Uh, like, if it wasn't already escalating by the UAF picking off pirates, certainly today's conflict is going to shockwaves we're unsure uh, this good thing that you've got this and you removed it from UAF if it's here on the ship feels good feels alright for the most part there's doubts always Sun. Finally begins to set waiting to to be dust to be done. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> but between dun, this dun, session dun. and next, I will share in Discord the loot and things that you all found. Uh, that's that's worth your time that you can carry. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, and congrats to everyone. Once you sleep, uh -huh. which I imagine it'll, there'll be plenty of room for it in the top of next session, unless unless you're all like, no way, we're we're fighting the pirates. Done. And then you'll you'll be level seven. So. Woo! Yay! On the Woo! Yay! <laughs> Woo uh, yeah. All right. So, how are y'all feeling uh, after tonight? Oh my gosh, Woo. that was intense. <laughs> Oh, yes. that was uh that was the thing. I didn't Stress. mean to go like full like captain mode <laughs> to like oh, oh, so we gotta get we gotta GTFO. I love mm. it. No, mm. y'all did amazing. That was perfect. Yeah. Was perfect. Yeah. And Rila too, like Rila, you did like uh Rila stepped yes. up. <laughs> <laughs> Rila yeah. always steps up. <laughs> I can't imagine how cool a scene that would be in a movie. Just real running straight down mm. for the engine, mm. shuts it off, and then mm. just at the right time, free fall. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The Omega. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was intense. I mean, like, yeah. so, viewers, please oh. give a round of applause for our players. Oh. That was fucking amazing. Oh, Dan. Give a round of applause for Dan. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. Dan. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dan. <laughs> oh, what a blast! That was so good, y'all. Oh my gosh. Um, 
hope it felt nice and intense and weighty. It did. Uh, you all just did such a good job. You all did. So, like, it, it was. It was cinematic in a lot of different places. Like, 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 mm -hmm. um, like Chris was saying, like, ah. <laughs> uh, super exciting. For anyone new here tonight, if you, you know, had a blast, you've been watching An Extremis, our Sky Pirate campaign. You can catch us every Saturday night, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern. And if you had fun with us here, uh, bring up our schedule, please consider giving us a follow in um, mm -hmm. a follow here because uh, we have a ton of content, a lot of D&D. Uh, cross week often in this 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. time slot. Penumbra Assembly, the Penumbra Assembly mm -hmm. is going to have session one this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got video games during the day, a lot of art streams as well, of different varieties, and our, our own Trisha who plays video games that, like, she believes are good ones and plays them well <laughs> on That's, Sunday evenings. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, that means it does, <laughs> 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern, so check her uh, out on that. Um, yeah, consider giving us a follow to be uh, notified for live with all our goodies. Thank you, Vic, for the, 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 the yes. sub. Yay! 39 months you are amazing <laughs> wow um oh you also my... had that raid earlier y yes thank you so much we've got mm -hmm. um diesel a, shot a diesel shot mm -hmm. uh yeah oh thank you for thank the you subs for thank you for the raid diesel shot i hope that you had a good uh you and your players had a fun time this evening diesel shot as well mm -hmm. I hope you'll. I hope we'll see you next Saturday when we find out. You know we have. <laughs> this has been a long week in game time, and a, yeah. a, you know a, a deviation from some of the normal Sky Pirate stuff. And mm -hmm. um, oh, thanks, Ariela. <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's so cute. Um, gosh, yeah. Join us next Saturday and see how it plays out with the pirates get our, our beautiful crew back with their their the rest of their crew on their own ship oh thanks Rayla. i'm so glad you had fun yay that's what we're here for to have fun and share it um yeah catch us next saturday and uh and any other night with our other streams we're gonna go ahead and raid our friends over at blackwater dnd so please consider giving a call call mad bird raid um and we're going to do our after show for our Patreons next, um, where we, we mm -hmm. spill some of the secrets behind tonight's episode. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Take care, everyone. Catch you all soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs>